What's up guys, Lou here for Golf Avenue. With the emergence of AI platforms, more and more people are turning to websites like ChatGPT, Copilot, with all sorts of questions. And golfers are no stranger to this fact, you know, it's easier than ever to ask an AI platform for questions like, what should my next club be? Or how should I fix my swing? But one question remains, can we truly trust those AI platforms when it comes to opinions and recommendations. With that in mind, we're gonna check out five AI recommendations, put them to the test, and see how accurate those recommendations are. So we're gonna ask our AI platforms to recommend five iron sets that they would suggest for beginner golfers, and then we're gonna take them to our simulator and review the performance of those clubs and tell you, are they actually fitted for the needs of beginner golfers? We're also gonna give you feedback on the description given by the AI platform to let you know if it's accurate in any way, or if it's actually helpful in any way for golfers looking to shop for your next iron set. So let's not waste any more time and take a look at our first set, the TaylorMade P790 Ti. Originally released in 2019, the TaylorMade P70 Ti set was always meant to be a more forgiving version from the original P70 model. But let's see what Copilot had to say about them. These irons have a titanium club face and a foam injected club head, making them one of the better feelings iron for beginners and high handicappers. So let's first address Copilot's review of these irons. Overall, we do agree with the review as the P790 Ti's are perfectly suited for beginners and high handicappers, as Copilot said. However, in the article we published with this video, we did not give Copilot a passing grade with this review. While the P790 Ti's are definitely well suited for beginners and high handicappers, their price is definitely not. With a price tag that's not super beginner friendly, the P790 Ti's are probably more geared and targeted towards more experienced golfers that are looking for something more forgiving than what they currently have in the bag. Maybe if they're looking to trade or sell from their current set. Overall, it's an excellent recommendation for beginners, but they are definitely more affordable options for you out there on the market. And we've got some of them in this list today. But now that I've given you my opinion on these clubs, let's take a look at the stats that I gathered from my test with the P790 Ti's. We can see that the ball went far, it exploded off the club face with high ball speed, despite not having necessarily the highest club speed that we had throughout this test. It was really hard to complain about the performance of these clubs, especially if you're looking for something forgiving. The ball explodes off the club face, even miss hits feel like they'll fly for miles. A nice draw bias that will help, especially if you have a slice. And finally, the spin rates were good enough to hold the greens. I was able to get the ball high in the air with nice trajectories. So when the ball would hit the green, it would bite right away and stop spinning. It would be perfectly well spotted. Again, only downside that I would give them, it's a little pricey, but now that we've taken a look at these ones, let's head on over to our second set. Next up, we're taking a look at one of Japan's biggest brand, the Mizuno JPX 921 Hot Metal, released in 2021. So we'll first see what Copilot had to say about this set. These irons offer very fast ball speed and excellent vibration resistance. So let's review Copilot's comment on this set. Excellent ball speed is definitely nothing surprising coming from game improvement irons, especially from Mizuno. And again, they talk about excellent vibration resistance. There again, when it comes to Mizuno, your feel for the ball should be as smooth as possible and the JPX 921 were probably right up there when I tested them. The only downside I would give to the JPX 921, and it's a pretty noticeable one, they're not as forgiving maybe as some of the other clubs in this list. They are quite forgiving, don't get me wrong, but they're not the most forgiving of all the sets that we have listed today. So it is something to take into consideration when you're looking to get your hands on your next forgiving set. But speaking of forgiveness, let's see just how much ball speed we managed to produce with these clubs when we tested those out on our simulator. Right off the bat, if you look at the stats, there was a strong draw bias with these clubs that I did struggle to get used to, honestly. But on the bright side, this strong draw bias will definitely limit the slice if you tend to hit one of those with your irons. And another bright spot, your ball is gonna carry further and fly for longer. So if you're good enough to end your strike when it comes to your draw, you'll be able to get very long strikes that will stop almost instantly with a lot of spin when it comes to hitting the green. And while I did struggle with them at first, it didn't take too long to get used to this set, get a good feel for them, and get that classic Mizuno butter-like feel when you make contact with the center of the club face. So again, if you want something that feels good, that flies long, the Mizuno JPX 921 are your choice. If you want something that is as forgiving as possible, you might want to look at something else, but they still will provide you with a good bit of forgiveness. This is why they're on this list. With our third set, we're taking on probably the most famous golf brand of them all, the Titleist T300. 
Titleist has a stellar reputation when it comes to golf, so let's see if the AI give it the same level of respect. These are great looking beginner irons that offer more distance than previous Titleist game improvement irons. So right away it's really hard to disagree with Copilot. These clubs do look great and the ball will fly for miles when you do find the sweet spot. Actually, they're exactly what a beginner or a poor ball striker should be looking for out of an iron set. While they definitely don't look like your typical Titleist blades, a department which they've mastered, these game improvement irons have shown worthy of the Titleist badge. It doesn't have the most traditional game improvement profile, but it will without a doubt match the performance of any of such clubs. Now enough chatting about them and let's go take a look at the results we got from our test. So as you take a look at the stats that we gathered from our test and you also see some of the shots I hit, I will say right away that this set is the definition of pick up and play. Right away I was able to hit good shots with it and the clubs did feel great in my hands at impact every single time. But don't get me wrong, this soft feeling was matched with very nice ball speeds. Not the fastest one from all the tests, but they were very impressive considering the feel that I got for the ball with these clubs. And overall, it was really easy to shape the ball surprisingly with these clubs. Also, these clubs are very consistent from one shot to the next. I was able to hit the same nice trajectory time and time again. And I was also able to land the ball very close by the hole every single time, or at least if not close by the hole, I was able to land it somewhere on the green and the ball would stop pretty quickly because there was a good amount of spin rates, which I do appreciate out of game improvement irons. These ones opt for higher spin rates while still delivering plenty of distance. Our fourth set comes from a brand that holds a special place in the heart of many. I'm of course talking about Ping and G425 iron set. So let's take a look and see if Copilot shows our love of Ping and the iron sets. These irons have tungsten toe weights for a better center of gravity placement and a very high MOI. So overall, another terrific recommendation by Copilot. The Ping G425 are indeed well balanced and will produce incredible ball trajectories. The only knock that we give to Copilot is that their definition of the club is a bit bit codified with golf lingo that not all beginners might get right away. But otherwise, the Ping G425 are an excellent recommendation for any beginner. If I was to rewrite the description for Copilot and make it more simple for beginner golfers, I would simply say that the weight placement in the club head has been centered to make it easier to get the ball airborne. And I would also say that this weight placement also helps to create better ball flights wherever you hit the ball on the club face. But now that we've been praising these clubs, it's time to take a look at the result we got from the test that we did with them. So here again, when we take a look at the stats that we got from our test, and while we also look at some of the strikes, we can see that there's a clear draw bias when it comes to the G425. They really do take away the right side of the course, for my case, because I was a righty. Of course, if you're a lefty, it will take away the left side. But I really couldn't feel like I could hit a slice. Even if I was flipping my wrist, the ball would definitely fade a little, but never turn into a massive slice that would end up far away from the green on the right. While Copilot did praise the explosiveness of the G425, we did not see the same results. It got the best club speed, but it didn't produce the best ball speed of all the clubs I tested on that day. What I will say about the G425 is that it did really hold the green nicely. Whenever the ball was making contact with the green, it would hit the green and stop pretty much right away. Won't really go far away, it won't roll over too far. Actually, the discrepancy between carry distance and total distance was the shortest of all the clubs we tested with the G425. It was still around nine yards, which is pretty significant, but it was still shorter than the 12 yards that we saw from other clubs that we tested. Finally, we're taking a look at our most affordable option, the King Speeds zone from Cobra. Let's take a look at what Copilot had to say about these clubs. These irons feature Arcos technology to help you track your golf shots and offer more ball speed than other options on the market. So regarding Copilot's review, we have the same issue that we ran into with our previous set. The recommendation is indeed accurate, but the description eh, could be much better. It's completely true that the profile of the King Speed Zone is perfectly adjusted to beginners and golfers who struggle to strike the ball consistently. But on the other end, the Arco sensor mentioned by Copilot are not standard with Cobra Club. You can definitely get your hands on these captors, but they're usually not sold with used models like the one we sell at Golf Avenue. Now that we know that the King Speed Zones are well suited to golfers in search of forgiveness, let's take a closer look at their performance. So right away when we're looking at the stats from our test and when we're looking at some of the ball flights that I was able to hit with these clubs, it's quite easy to see you'll be able to produce very nice strikes without putting too much weight behind the golf ball. You don't have to swing out of your shoes to get these clubs flying. Copilot was right, they do deliver with excellent ball speeds on accurate strike. If you make contact with the sweet spot, near the middle of the club face, your ball will fly for miles. That's not to say that miss hits won't fly, they will definitely fly too. It's a forgiving club after all, but sweet spot strikes are worth the effort of getting your ball striking skills 
to the next level. This set did deliver in terms of explosiveness as it ranked both as the longest club and carry and total distances, which is a testament to its power. But on the other end, you have to knock it for the fact that its spin rates were very low, which resulted in long rollout. So the discrepancy between the carry and total distance was the largest of all the clubs. While it wasn't the lowest spinning set of all the ones we tested, the low spin rate did make for a long rollout once the ball hit the ground. And the last thing we'll say is that if you're after distance and forgiveness, this set is definitely suited to your needs. If you're more after forgiveness, a little more feel and control of the golf ball, you might want to look into something that will help you have higher spin rates and a little more feel for the ball and impact. So wrapping up this test and review, we truly hope that one of the iron sets mentioned here today will be the right one for you. If you find that one of them is interesting or if you want to take a closer look at one of them, just click on the link in the description below. On the other hand, if none of the clubs in today's video were interesting to you, make sure to head to the description again where you'll find the link to our blog article which has five more recommendations included. Finally, in the description, you'll also find a link to book a call with one of our experts if you want more in-depth recommendations that are suited to your exact needs. Needs. And before we let you go, we'd like to remind you to like this video and subscribe to Golf Admin's channel if you want to see more golf content. And while you're at it, why not leave a comment down below and let us know what clubs you'd like for us to compare or review next time around. Who knows, your comment might turn into our next video. So don't forget to comment and in the meantime, get on the course and play some golf. For Golf Avenue, I've been Lou. Until next time, see ya.